What's she said? Mm. Hi guys, today we're going to be teaching you how to make a low price remote control firework detonator. How 16 much? channel. 16 channel, how many pounds though? Uh, this is what I got, 16 channel, and it was 20 quid delivered. 20 pounds, English pounds delivered. So, really cable. I've got 100 meters of, I think that's 24 AWG. Uh, it's actually, oh, it's, it's like, you know, it's not bell wire because it's not solid core. That was 14 quid, including the VAT. And the other things you'll need is some um, enamel, fine wire. gauge enameled wire. I'll put a link to this in the description because I don't know what it is, but it's from Farnell. And some kind of 12 volt battery, or well, anything really. This is an SLA from an alarm. Get what are we going to do here? So we're just going to demonstrate how to pair this specific model. So you hold the button down for some number of seconds. So the LED will, will go on when you click it and then it will go off like that after so that about 5 seconds. That means it's cleared the memory. Then you push it one more time and then push the button on the remote. And it starts blinking and it's, and it's done. Hope, hope. Supply 12 volts to the middle pin of each of these. You could do this just by running a wire between each of them, but we're going to solder it on the back. Yep. The pros. Rather than having it loop out of every single terminal into the other, Chris is just going to connect them all on the back of the PCB. So Please. essentially, for this job, there is you just need 12 volts coming out of every single relay. So what we've done is just put a bridge in from the positive input terminal to the middle pin of the relay and the output. That's already positive 12 volts, so that's gonna be the switched 12 volt output. So you put your load in from there and then connect the other end to ground. So we've just got a light bulb connected up with one side to ground, and we're gonna stick it in the uh, right hand side of the socket. If you push the button, the light comes on. Cool. So we're gonna repeat, uh, repeat that for all of the other channels, show you how we've done that and then we'll show you how to make some E-matches. Okay, here you can see all the jumpers along here, the big one there, and then along that side, which connect all of the center pins, the one marked B from every relay. So that basically just shares the positive. We're gonna test it. <laughs> Perfect. You need some enameled wire, any length, obviously longer than what you're trying to do. A piece of two core cable, so cut it down to whatever length you want, but essentially this is going to be the E-match. For the way we're doing it, one end are going to be chooched pretty long, oh, that went well, pretty long, so that we can twist them on the day. And the other length you need to take about 5mm off, is plenty. Like that. It's actually focused for once. Yeah. Okay, so I'm using a pair of helping hands because they make this a lot easier. You want to get one end and wrap it around, similar to that. You don't have to use as much as I did. One or two turns is fine as long as you're happy with it. This is just over an inch if you're in uh, if you're in Imperial. I'd make I'd it a say. little bit longer than that. The other ones have been a little bit short. Okay, well, we'll go like that. I think that's good. Oh, I've made a fuck up of it, though, haven't I? At this point, you can trim off the excess. Obviously, use that for the next one. So, basically, you want to uh, wrap the tape around there just so that these don't short out. I've done that really badly, but yeah. I don't care. So now they can't go. And then I tape them together for neatness and then wrap yep. the copper wire around the fuse. So at this point, you wrap that around the fuse, give it a couple of twisty twisties, and then poof, all done. That's your rematch. What have we got here? It's bomb. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> looks a lot like that. Two bangers over there, tiny little things with the e-fuses that we made that uh, you saw how to make earlier. There's the unit. Chris has got the remote control in his hand. I'm going to step back quite away. One. Yeah. Oh. French bang was bad. Was it? Yeah, two. That one worked. Number one was dud. Yeah, the French banger didn't go, did it? <laughs> well, thank you for watching, guys. You've been looking at explosive discharge on the internet. Like, comment and subscribe if you liked the video. If you and didn't, send us abuse.
if you've injured yourself like in this because we're not going to tell you not to do it at home we want you to do this at home if you've injured yourself please leave it in the comments and we'll post you another postage stamp inside an envelope yeah <laughs> but if you get injured it's not our problem yeah.